it's, it's tough recording this video what I'm about to record. Um, so I was in Walmart um, right here. I don't want to show you. There's people just passing by. Are they gone? Yeah, Walmart. Yeah. So sometimes whenever I go shopping in public, I'll, I'll see clothing, see women's clothing, and I'll think, oh, this would be good for my wife, inshallah. I'm not married, but I, I, I just think like this, you know. I, I have a, I don't want to say I have a sense of style, but I, I know what what I like pertaining to style and fashion, right? So I was in the Walmart and I was passing by the clothing, and I saw this dress, and I'm like, oh, this is a cute dress. This looks pretty um alluring and attractive, you know. It'd be good for the wife, inshallah. And then I realized it's in the, it's in the children's aisle. This dress is being sold for children. And it's a dress that it's like a very short dress, like like it won't pass by the knees and the chest area is is um prominent for the style and the shape and the cutting of this dress. And that that just like it was weird, like like I like I can't think. <laughs> it's like, you know, I'm thinking to myself, "Oh, this this guy is checking his alarm so many times. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear it in the video, but like he left like five minutes ago and he's still checking his alarm with his keys. Anyway, so I'm thinking like, you know, this, my, my idea when I saw this, this is for a woman. This is for a, a grown woman, but this is being sold to children, this type of clothing. May Allah protect us. And this is very, this is very this difficult, very difficult. When you bring your kids out to these places, they're going to see this type of clothing. They're going to see the type of clothing that's worn on TV and the TV shows and everything like that. And they're going to want to wear that type of clothing. Understand? Your 8-year-old, 9-year-old, 10-year-old, 13-year-old daughter is going to see this and she's going to want to fit in. Understand? And she's going to wear that, want to wear that type of clothing. May Allah protect us. May Allah protect us. May Allah protect us and protect our children. Barakallahu feekum wa jazakum Allahu khairun. I'll mention something else, and I've blocked out the video because I'm laying down, but I'll mention something else. During the time of Lut, alayhi salam, he was criticized because he and he he tried to keep himself and his family pure. So the people criticized him for that. You know, oh, are you trying to be pure? What is that? And many of the messengers and the prophets, they were criticized for saying, La ilaha illallah, there's nothing worthy of worship except one God in truth. Walaylah alhamd. Except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. What did they call the Messenger? The Messenger of Allah, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They called him a madman. They called him crazy, a sihir, a magician, a sorcerer. All of these things. So, alhamdulillah for Islam. In our time, one of the major criticisms is being accused of being a creep or, or a pedophilia or anything like this. I can understand somebody may think, oh, what's wrong with you? Those dresses, why do you have to sexualize them for it? No, the dresses themselves have sexualized themselves. They're created like this. Understand this? If you wanted to uh, create a modest dress, what is modesty according to your standards? Alhamdulillah. Again, alhamdulillah for Islam. A religion where there's evidence for everything. Even how the little girl should dress. Even the girl before the age of puberty should dress and after the age of puberty should dress. And uh, guidelines and conditions and and sunan and and uh, obligations, all of these things within the religion of Islam about how we should dress. Walillah alhamd. So and and I'll continue on with this. Continuing on with this. People who call themselves Muslims are the ones doing the criticism. We could understand it from the kafar, but now we have Muslims criticizing other Muslims. That are adhering to the book and the sunnah. May Allah protect us and may Allah guide them. May Allah protect us and guide them. Nevertheless, let them criticize. Let whoever they want to criticize. We go back to dalil. We go back to evidences. We go back to proof. We go back to the Quran. We go back to the hadith. We go back to the, the to the ijma of the companions, the ijma of the salaf, and the ijma of the ulama. We have we have evidences. We don't have to uh, be afraid, and we don't have to. What's the word? Doubt our stances. Walillah alhamd. We have evidence for it. Walillah alhamd. We have religion for it. Walillah alhamd. So just like in the time of Lut and the time of the other prophets, where they tried to adhere to the law of uh, the law of Allah subhanahu wa taala, and now we're trying to adhere to the law of Allah, the law of Allah subhanahu wa taala, staying separate from women, uh, and lowering our gaze, and dressing modestly, and not dressing our children immodestly, etc., etc., etc. We have we have religion, we have dalil, we have a, a, the Quran, we have the Sunnah, and we'll always have something, walillah alhamd, to always defend us 
and always protect us and always protect our our emotional health and our mental health and our and our spiritual health to not fall into the arguments of those who oppose Islam and not fall into the criticisms to those who oppose Islam and what Islam values. I saw a video of a famous Muslim, may Allah bless him, saying a dua, may Allah guide these women to cover it so we don't ruin our fast in Ramadan. And you have a whole bunch of comments, some from kuffar, some from Muslims without knowledge, saying, you know, if that bothers you, then you need to work on something else. Something else is wrong with you. You know, a woman being uncovered and that's affecting you and affecting your fast, something is wrong with you. La. Alhamdulillah, I'm telling you, subhanAllah, alhamdulillah for Islam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put these legislations in place, put these rules in place, the women covering, all of these things, everything that is commanded and everything that is commanded to stay away from in place for the betterment of all of us in society and community. Walillahi alhamd. And they criticized him and they said, oh, this is an L for so and so, you know, all of these things because they don't understand. And they're being fake with it too because they know the damages, they know the psychological harm and all of these things that, that happens to people. When opposing anything from the Quran and the Sunnah, they know the harm, but they, they pretend that it doesn't exist. They pretend that it doesn't exist because they want to what? Delve into desires. May Allah protect us and guide us and increase us in beneficial knowledge. I mean.